everyone, let's talk about NNDM here, which is Nano Dimensions, ticker for this one. Obviously, if you are here, you are a fan of Nano Dimensions, been talking about Nano Dimensions for a long time, been an active investor with Nano Dimensions, been up and down situation all over the board, hedge funds buying it, big people buying it. A lot of us believe that Nano Dimensions is going to be one of these stocks in the near future that is really going to explode because of everything that they are working on, their bread and butter, daily outcome, what they're doing. Quarterlies keep getting better. They keep getting bigger and better people to work for the company, buying more expensive people to bring in. And as of lately, we've been hearing and seeing a lot of rumors. And I, let's kind of like address those right now and kind of feel like what they mean here. So obviously, if you go on Reddit right now, and I'll show you a few of these little things here, but a lot of people are talking about that, you know, Nano Dimensions is being set up to explode here. That, you know, obviously the hedge funds are betting against it because it looks Looks like a little bit of an easy bet right now that Nano Dimensions is not going to hit you know X amount of, of numbers when it comes to call options here, obviously. But one thing that we have seen with Nano Dimensions is that Nano Dimensions kind of does what it wants to do, and it has no shame in its game to just organically move up. So even today, we had a pretty good day for Nano Dimensions, and obviously, the last five days here with nano dimensions has been a small small walk up here and i'll just bring it on this google chart here because it's a little bit easier to see with just the naked eye here instead of bringing out a candlestick chart here which we'll get to but as you can see we have steady movement right here we're not seeing like massive massive runs here but i'm gonna be totally honest and you know you've heard me say this before these are the kind of walk-ups I like when we're seeing this slow, steady build here. Because what we're seeing right now and what we're witnessing is just, it's a slow, slow climb. And this is what kind of makes me think, we're actually watching this move up right in front of us right now. Now, obviously, it's only Monday, and we could still have this thing, you know, fall apart and go into, you know, a 350, 330 zone. That's totally acceptable, but the thing we know about Nano Dimensions, that's not really that big of a deal because we've seen Nano Dimensions do that and then immediately come back, you know, 24, 48 hours later back into, you know, almost this $4 mark here. We've been playing around here at this $3, $4 mark here for a little bit. But what I will address here on this, you know, Reddit community thing, friends, I'll say this, I'll bring the double-edged sword here and people will like this and they won't like it, but, you know, as for me having a YouTube channel and putting this out in the public, I, I kind of have to give both sides of the situation with what I see. First off, let me say this. I see a lot of people talking about a lot of different stocks that are going to explode, shoot up. Right now, there's a hundred different GameStop stocks that are supposed to be exploding because this guy told this guy and this guy's telling this guy. That's all good and dandy. And obviously, on a weekly basis, there are a lot of things that do explode that kind of go under the radar. They go from you know five dollars to fifteen dollars. They go from two dollars to eight dollars. These things happen all the time in the stock market, and those are squeezes, and they're very fast. They usually last about forty-eight hours to maybe you know four days if you're lucky. With nano dimensions, when we talk about this squeeze, it's a little bit different because could there be a squeeze? Absolutely. Everyone's talking about squeeze, but yes, we have seen everybody else talk about another, other squeezes. But what makes Nano Dimensions so different, like I was saying, Nano Dimensions has done a lot to propel themselves to become a better company. They've restructured the company. They brought in bigger and better people. They've, they're able to afford better people in their company to run it. We saw that last year. We know that they have a lot of cash on hand. We know that their quarterlies are getting better, especially from last year. We know that they are we know that they have bought other companies and that they have secret things going on right now that they have not unveiled yet. There's a lot of big news coming down the pipeline with Nano Dimensions. So what I will say to that is I am very bullish on Nano Dimensions for the company organically. I also am very bullish that Yes, there could be a squeeze. There's always room for a squeeze. Because guess what? There's no rules on a squeeze happening or not happening. We are definitely seeing a mild walk up right now, a very slow growth pattern, which is great. And I've said this before, if you can buy 
Nano Dimensions at this $3 range, I think it's going to pay off for you immensely whether the next 6 months or 12 months because of what we know is coming down the pipeline with Nano Dimensions. And friends, I'm going to say one more thing, and this has really nothing to do with the squeeze, but this has something to do with uh, Nano Dimensions. And I've mentioned this about um, some other stocks, uh, Rolls-Royce being one of them, and I made the video and it kind of got controversial. A lot of people were like not happy with what I was saying, but I, I, I will say this, and this is kind of you know, I'm trying to figure out how to verbally say this here, but you know, here I go. We know that Nano Dimensions makes a lot of pieces, a lot of different elements that they sell and contract to other companies. We know that they have heavy defense contracts. We know that they have heavy satellite contracts. We know that they have a lot of things that, that they contract and make that have to do so much with maybe a little bit of countries buying equipment to protect themselves. So I, I've said this and, you know, like I said, I'm trying to figure out how to like say this to where it, you know, doesn't, people don't fl flip out on me, but depending on how much worse this Russian Ukraine situation gets out, I think there's going to be a lot of companies like Nano Dimensions and like Rolls Royce, you know, the aviation sector of that, we're going to start to see contracts be formed. We're going to start to see articles come out to where they are directly making components in elements to sell to certain companies or countries to help them with certain items if this situation continues to rise and gets and gets worse because one thing that we know is going on right now is that you know every country right now whether it's china russia america north america uh you know all of europe guess what everyone's doing right now what everyone's spending money on they're spending money on defense elements <laughs> they're buying tanks they're buying components they're buying guns they're buying everything right now so i have really been following a lot of these companies very closely to see if some kind of crazy article comes out where that subject is being talked about i, I wouldn't be surprised to see something like that come out I, I really wouldn't i know it sounds totally crazy but don't sleep on that news it could come out any day so friends i will end it with that situation in conversation <laughs> But I'm very bullish on this and I'm rooting for everyone to have big, big money on this explosion if it does happen. Friends, with all I said, remember, be positive, be you, take time to invest in your future, and friends, I will talk to you very soon. Bye, everyone. Hey.